Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I would like to do the top 10 challenge. Now, the problem is, I don't really have 10 favorite tractors. So I threw a couple extra things in here. Um, right, let's get started. Down here we have probably my all-time small fa or yeah, small tractor. It is the Fent Farmer 4S. I just this is the style tractor that I grew up knowing. Small, pretty powerful. It's not all that fast. I think it does like. 13 miles an hour, 15, but it's good, and she'll just keep running. Let's start it up here. The sound, just that old tractor tapping. I can remember growing up beside a feed mill. Every harvest, I'd sit out front and watch the farmers pull up with their tractors. And I do remember one farmer in particular had one of these. And I always just loved the look of it. Next, we go to the Fent 724. This is a mod. It's just a nice all around tractor. It's got some decent horsepower, good speed, and I just absolutely love those monster wide tires on the back. And I hit the rack. Great extra lighting for at night. You can find that one in uh, medium tractors. And along the side hit, I've got the Massey 7700 series. This one's beefed up to the 7726. Again, another great medium tractor. You'll see a lot of these used on my role plays and my uh, let's plays. Very detailed interior. Let's see the startup. Got the radio up top. Just a really good tractor. Another great one for all around. You can cultivate with this one, plow, or cart the grain down the road. Beside that, we've got the big Agco 1050. I love this mod because you can actually change it between Fent, Challenger, 
or Massey Ferguson. I opted for the Fent here. My Let's Play in No Man's Land, you'll actually see six of these running the fields. Again, another great tractor. Just the animation in the cab. You see all the lights light up. Watch the dials move. Throttles, everything. It's so nice. Let's take this one for a quick little spin. The sound on this I love. And it just looks so good with those twins on it. Just all kinds of beefy. And then beside that, we've got the Deutzfar. I've got this one done up as the Warrior package. It just, when you look at this, and you kick those lights on, it just looks evil. I honestly wish you could add some red to that because that would just be icing on the cake. And this is a really fast tractor, almost 40 miles an hour. I believe it was uh, Red Viking that had one of these in his lineup. Those are my favorite tractors. Might be a couple others that didn't really make the cut. But since this is a top 10 challenge, I decided I'm going to throw in a couple of pieces of equipment as well. Now, where I grew up, small country town, you didn't see too many fancy schmancy trucks running the fields and whatnot. You found old Fords, old Chevys doing the work. This is by far my favorite truck on this game. The sound, the look, it's just an old 72 Ford. It looks like it. It sounds like it. It's just a gorgeous truck. And the horn. I love the horn. Nice little, uh, joke in there. Probably the best horn on the game. And that then brings us to this monster. lot of fun features with this one. One in particular, great for role play. You can work under the hood. Work under the hood. You got something in the bed. Just put the tailgate down and push it out. 
You can't beat that. Doesn't steer for crap, but then again, the real ones don't either. Here we've got the NMC Beast. This thing, it's a D11, it's huge. It sounds great. Wish it had a better horn. And it will compact a full silage pit in no time. There's nothing it can't move. I've actually used this and pushed about 40 trees pre-cut trees the entire length of one field in Mercury Farms it just doesn't stop And since I don't have full 10, I figured I'd throw in two of my favorite buildings. This workshop, it's a mod, but it's an absolutely beautiful mod. It's detailed. You got your work trigger out front. I just wish it extended over here to the ramps. That would just make things look better. You can actually park the vehicles up here and then do the work. But it is what it is. But other than that, I mean, it's lit up. It's just I put this on all of my all of my maps. This is my on-farm workshop. It just looks like an actual workshop. And I don't know why, but my final one, this is my favorite shed. I find a place to put this small shed on every single map. And it drives my wife crazy. It's just the perfect little shed. episodes so yeah here's my top 10 challenge put out by the shaming man he's already done his look him up check it out red vikings already done his look him up check it out um that's Pretty much it in a nutshell. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. And you guys have a good day. Talk to you later.